All right, everybody, welcome to our second AMI day. Uh, since I'm not gonna get a chance to do this in class, so I have to do this through a video. So I'm gonna show you today what I was gonna show you in class on a drum set and how this pertains to what your assignment is for this week. Um, <clears throat> now, before we get started on this, I did wanna remind you that on, on uh, Canvas, under uh, modules, you're gonna have a couple of different resources to look at for today. Um, today being Thursday, the last and hopefully final day of snow days that we have to endure this week. Hopefully we'll all be back in classes on Friday. Uh, so for Thursday, here's what I want you to do. Once you go to that modules and click on, there's four different uh, documents you have. The first one is called rhythm vocab. So there are four vocab terms on this page. These four vocab terms you will be tested on in a couple of weeks. So we will have a vocab quiz and those four terms right there on that rhythm vocab doc are gonna be on that test. You don't need to panic or anything. Don't worry, I'll make sure that you know them and are ready for the test, but do take a look at them today <clears throat> as part of your work. There are three, three other um, documents attached there. The first one is called Rhythm Boot Camp 1, and then there's Boot Camp 2 and Boot Camp 3. If you want to peruse those, you can. They're not going to be super important, and for most of you who aren't in band or haven't had any musical training before this, they're not going to be much help yet, but we'll go through them in class if and when we return. Um, but the third one is going to actually have some example drum grooves. Now, if you're not a musician, it may not do much good for you at all, and I apologize for that. Um, but if you look at that third one, there are some examples for drum grooves that you can actually program into Soundtrap, which I'll show you in just a minute. So those four resources are available for you on Canvas. Check them out. If nothing else, just make sure you read through them at least once today. Um, so what I'm here on the drum set to actually show you is a couple of different things about making drum set groove. So if you tried this assignment today, which is Wednesday, uh, you may have been really successful. There may have been some problems. Hopefully I can answer some more of those questions today for you through this video. Okay, so let's get right to it. Um, remember yesterday I said that your snare drum goes on what two beats? Do you remember? Two and four. So let's just say that again. Your snare drum, which is this instrument, is going to be on beats two and four and then your, your bass drum is always gonna go on beat one. So without anything else, this is a very simple drum beat to make using the kick or bass drum and snare. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice the snare drum is on two and four, the kick drum is on one, and in doing so, I've got myself a pretty easy groove established. Now this groove is in what's called regular time, okay? Regular, say that, regular time. What that means is that your snare drums are hitting on counts two and four. Now eventually we're going to change where those are to change the speed or the feeling of the groove. But for now, let's just talk about normal rock. So a rock drum set groove in regular time is going to have snare drums on two and four. So it could sound like this. So right there I had one. The snare drums are on the two and four, and I'm putting the bass drums on one and three. And notice this hi-hat sound is going all the way through. It's something steady to kind of latch on or keep a hold of as you listen to it. So that hi-hat pattern is going all the way through on all the beats. One, three, four, one. Snare drums on two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two. And then the bass drums are on one and three. Now I'm going to show you how to program this exact groove onto Soundtrap in just a minute. But before we go there, I do want to make sure you know regular time, which again is the snare drum on two and four. But then there's also an option called half time. Half time is going to take the snare drum, and instead of being on two and four, we're just going to put it on beat three. And that's it. And it creates the feeling of going almost twice as slow. So if I did that, it would look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then if I added some bass drum to it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So regular time looks like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Half time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now notice my hi-hat hand stayed the same throughout. That's because I'm keeping a steady beat with it. Now that's one of the vocab terms you have on that vocab sheet for today is the term beat. Now we've all thrown this term beat around. We've said, yes, I'm gonna to go to Mr. Boyce's room seventh hour and make beats. Well, you're not actually making a beat per se. The musical definition of the term beat refers to a steady pulse that goes through a song. So try this really quick. Snap your fingers with me. Yes, you have to snap. I know 
just snap, do it. One, two, three, four. Keep that snap going. Now I'm gonna play the groove and I want you to keep the snaps going just like this. Two, keep it snapping. snapping is the beat and what I was doing is this word rhythm now we've talked about rhythm since week one in this class remember we have melody harmony and now rhythm the beat is like what you were doing when you're snapping the rhythm then becomes the motion of what I'm doing so it's the all the notes that I'm decorating the beat with to create what's called the groove okay so keep that in mind let's get back to regular time and half time regular time remember the snare drum hits on two and four okay so it looks like this half time is going to be slower you're going to put that snare drum just on b3 to create that slower feel one, two, four, four. One, two, four, four. now there's also one more and it's called double time and instead of putting it on two and four or just three the snare drums are going to go after every single beat so there's going to be one and you're going to put a snare right after it two snare drum right after so there's actually four in the measure. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm sure some of you heard that and you're like, hey, that sounds like a good old-fashioned hoedown. And you'd be right. When you do double time, it can feel like that. Also, metal music uses this a lot with blast beats. And so forth. So it's not just for country or hillbillies. Anyway, <clears throat> these three feels, regular time, half time, and double time, are going to be ways that you can make your assignment this week sound a little bit more interesting if your work today proved to be a little bit boring sounding with the final result. So at this point, I'm going to move this over actually to the TV. I'm sorry that I have to do this. I have no other way to transport it. I know this is awkward. Moving us. Here we go. <clears throat> Give me just a second. Yes, I know. Almost there. Okay, hold on. Hopefully this will not fall. I am recording this on my iPad. All right, sit, Ubu, sit. Wait there, good job. All right, <clears throat> so here we have soundtrack. Hold up. Now, what I just discussed with you was remember regular time, half time, and double time. Let's program those three. So I've already got my first drum set pulled up here. I've got my patterns beat maker down here. I have kick, snare, and hi hat. Now, by the way, on your assignment prompt, it did say that you need five sounds per drum set. What that means is that you're going to have to hit this add button right here and you're going to have to add two more things. Here it pulled up a, a open hi-hat and a crash. If you want to change those, you can just click and you can make it anything you like. I'd like to make the open hi-hat a tom instead. So I just chose this word hi tom, put that one there. I'm going to leave that one crash just for funsies. Okay, so now I've got five instruments and I'm on my first track and I'm going to make this one a regular time groove. Which means, if this is measure one, we have beat one, two is the next group of four, beat three is the next group of four, and beat four is here. In regular time, the snare drums go where? Two and four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a snare drum block here on two, four, I'm gonna put a bass drum on one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a bass drum on three, but I'm also gonna put one here, okay, just for funsies. And then just as you saw me play drum set a second ago, the hi-hat I'm actually going to plug in consistently all the way through this measure to make it just like my right hand was doing when I played that groove. So now we have the kick on one, the snare drum on two, and again on four. We have some extra bass drums for decoration. We've got a hi-hat part. Uh, I'm going to throw a tom here at the very end. Let's just throw one tom sound there. And then for this crash, I'm just going to put that right at the beginning. Most cymbal crashes are going to be on, on beat one for the most part. So put a crash there, put a high tom there, and now we'll take a listen to it and see what we got. Um, this may not work, actually. Hold on, give me a second. All right, the speakers will turn on, then we'll have it. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, and that little tick sound at the end is that little noise that we programmed here. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and slide that out, make it four measures long. That looks long enough for now. It looks like my crash sound ended up being a little, a little knock sound. So that's good. <clears throat> so what I just did was created a beat in what's called regular time. OK? 
okay? Again, it's regular time because the snare drum is on two and four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, next one. So I'm gonna go ahead and program this one to be half time. Now remember in half time, your snare drum is only on beat three. So here we have kick, snare, it looks like it saved the tom and crash cymbals for me here. So I've still got my five. So I'm gonna put a bass drum on one. Then I'm gonna go to not beat two, but beat three and drop the snare drum there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I have this half time feel created. I've got a kick on one and I've got this snare drum on three. Now for this one, I'm gonna take the hi-hat and just put them all in, okay? So I've got every single hi-hat box located there uh, ready to play. And for this one, maybe I'll take some toms and put one here and here just for funsies and a crash sound I'll put here on beat one just like I did the other one. Okay, so now this beat, this drum groove is gonna be different because now we have this snare drum just on beat three. Let's take a listen. Oh, sorry, I need to uh, solo it with the headphones here. All right, let's listen to it again. Here it is. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'll go and repeat it for four and see what we got. Yeah, that works. I'll keep it. Okay, and then this last one, remember, we have to have three differing drum grooves for our assignment this week. So this last one, I'm gonna put in what I called double time. Now, double time is tricky because remember, there's a snare drum after every single beat. So here's how this looks. I'm gonna put a bass drum on one, again on two, again on three, and again on four. Oops, I wasn't, scoot it over all the way. There we go. Okay, so one on one, a beat two, beat three, beat four, and then I'm gonna skip two tiles on the snare and put one directly in between this. So they're all gonna be nice and symmetrical. Bass drum going first, then a snare drum, and then the bass and snare. So there's four snares now per measure, okay? Let's listen to what this one sounds like right off the bat. Okay, that's pretty obtrusive and kind of weird. So I'm gonna take this snare drum, let me just change that snare drum to, oh, I don't know, let's make it hi-hat open. See what that sounds like. Oops. <clears throat> well, that wasn't much better, so I'm going to go back to snare drum two. Maybe that will change it. I don't know. That'll be acceptable for now. And then with the hi hats, I'm actually going to go ahead and put crashes on all the bass drums. And then I'll put toms, I don't know, maybe two here. And I'll take one snare drum off. Okay, now I just made these decisions. You can um, kind of do some trial and error practice stuff here. Just fill in some dots, listen to it. If it sucks, then just change it until it starts to sound good. Um, so here's this one again in double time. <laughs> that little sound there at the end is funny, but it works. We'll keep it. I'll spread it out to four. Now, if I spread these out on my Soundtrap timeline here, now I've got three very differing drum groups. So going back for the beginning here, here's my first one. Remember that we had the snare drums on two and four, and that was gonna be, oh, it may have deleted that snare drum actually. Oh, there they are. Snares are on two and four, okay? So that's our regular time groove, sounds like this. Then we have this next groove is going to be uh, our a uh, halftime groove with the snare drum just on beat three, and there it is right there. Sounds like this. And that works for me. And then this last one down here was our double time groove, and we had snare drums, should have been all over the place. Oh, that's because I'm on the wrong one. Here we go. All right. Yes, there it is. Okay, let's take a listen to this one. Remember, this is double time. Does this assignment sound like actual music that I would put on SoundCloud? No, clearly this is not gonna make millions of dollars. But what we are doing is getting you introduced to creating your own drum set sounds using Soundtrap, and that's very important. So, these may not sound great, folks, and that's okay. What we're looking for, though, is your understanding of being able to place the snare drums on two and four, on just beat three, or on all the ands, which is what this double time is called, and starting to make different feels for it. Okay, so hopefully we'll see each other in class on Friday. If not, then we'll have another AMI day and you'll have another one of these lovely videos. Check you later.